G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Final Fantasy XV, and I am continuing my series on the Limited Time Hunt. Now, this one is the Limited Time Hunt 2, which features the Malboro and the Malba Doom. This can be accessed by anyone as long as you're past Chapter 1, although there has been some reports of UK users having to be past Chapter 11 to access this. I'm not sure why or what that restriction is, but for me it was only Chapter 1. So even if you're not very interested in the hunts, I recommend doing this at least once because the first time completion rewards are actually quite good. Again, this differs from, I don't know if it's region or it's uh, your update version or I'm really not sure what determines your reward. But for me, it was 15,000 experience, 500 AP, 500,000 gil and 5 Oracle Ascension coins. But there has been some people that commented on my last video saying that they got 700 AP 20,000 XP, 700 gil, or 700,000 gil, sorry, and 7 Oracle Ascension Coins. Again, I really don't know what determines that, but uh, if you know what does, then please let me know in the comments below. So as far as preparation goes, I would highly recommend at least one ribbon for Noctis, and that's going to stop him getting the various status attacks that these guys give off. For Gladios, I would recommend the Impulse Technique, which is a great AoE to take out some enemies. For uh, Ignis, I would recommend either Regroup or Enhancement. And for Prompto, I would recommend the Gravisphere, which is a great way to suck in all the little enemies and kill them off quickly. Also, I'd give at least one party member the Ring of Resistance to stop magic damage to your own party. As far as food goes, if you can't get the Rubens, I would highly, highly recommend using the three mushrooms dish or the three mushrooms kebabs, which prevents most status ailments. So that's pretty much going to act like a ribbon for your whole party, but then again, you're going to be missing out on any experience buffing food. To get the ingredients for the three mushrooms kebabs, you just have to go to old Lestalem, and the grocer there will sell everything you need. Uh, as far as the experience buff goes, you can get one in old Altisha, or sorry, Altisha, and also Ignis learns a recipe at level 10. So as far as the hunt goes, you will have to go to Cape Kiam, and from there you can just proceed to the map shown on the limited time hunt uh, quest tab. And then you'll be confronted with two Malboros and two Malba Dooms, as well as heaps of little, um, I think they're Malboro Sprouts or Brats or something along those lines, but they're little annoying Malboro dudes. Uh, they're pretty easily taken out though with Gravisphere and uh, Impulse from Gladios, as well as uh, magic. So as far as magic goes, I would really, really, really recommend getting some damage limit break magic. Uh, this can be done by farming Zubiks, and a description of that will be, well, a method for that will be in the description below. And that will let you do a very high amount of damage to these guys, uh, upwards of 60,000 damage in one cast. So it's really good. Uh, as far as elements go, I think these guys are resistant to fire, so I'd be using either lightning or ice. Ice seems quite good, it freezes them and uh, slows them down, as you can see there, and does a very big AoE and a lot of damage. The thing to look out for, especially on the Malba Dooms, is their breath attack. So if you can, you want to be attacking them from the side or the back to avoid that breath attack, because it can be really, really devastating. Uh, a couple of hits from this, even at level 100 plus, will pretty much two-shot you. So it's something to be aware of. You can see that big breath attack. It's got a huge cone out in front of the, um, the Malba Doom there. So you definitely want to get behind. Uh, you can see here I'm using the Impulse, which is a really great way of taking out those little brats and sprouts, which can be quite annoying for interrupting your attacks and your magic spells, etc. But definitely here, like I mentioned before, magic is going to be your very, very best friend. See there, I did about 74,000 damage to one of them um, and took out all those little brats. So... Definitely the Zubik farm is going to be one of your best friends. Your other option for the damage limit break magic is also do the Justice Monsters 5 machine in Altisha, and that will give you a wind up Lord Vexus, which you can use for damage limit break magic as well. So Prompto, giving him the Gravisphere, it won't pull in the big mobs, but it will pull in the smaller ones and let you take out them pretty easily. 
But uh, generally, yeah, it won't pull in those big mobs. And as you can see, I just got two shot by that breath, so it's pretty damn lethal. So make sure when you come here, you have a lot of Phoenix Downs, Remedies, if you don't have Poison or Status Prevention, and uh, a lot of uh, Potions. So as you can see, my reward was 15,000 experience, 500 AP, and there my guild count is just over 500,000. And also the five Oracle Ascension coins. Again, I don't really know what gives you the 700,000 uh, experience or the 700 AP or seven coins. I really haven't determined what gives you those yet. After you finish the quest, if you want to do it again, all you have to do is go over to the exclamation point and hit to start the timed quest again. Now, this experience all up, um, if you're doing this quite fast and with the 100% experience food, you can get about 60,000 experience from finishing this. And once you get your timing down and you've got your d damage limit break magic up, you can finish it in about one and a half to maybe two and a half minutes. So it's uh, it's quite quick for the amount of experience you get. And if you can get a system going and roll it over really, really quick, it might actually be quite a good way to earn experience. But otherwise, for the reward, you only get that the very first time that you finish uh, the quest. And then from then on, it'll just be the experience. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this guide. Uh, just remember to get in and do this before the 14th of March when it will be replaced by another quest. If you enjoyed this guide, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions or any way to make this more efficient, then please leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Move along, people. Nothing to see here.